Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ethereal Gates. I am Rogue Shadow, a video game ninja, sometimes, and I am bringing you, and once again, I forgot something, hold on! Hello everybody, I am Rogue Shadow, the video gaming ninja, and we're playing Pokemon Ethereal Gates. Gotta get the Kylo Ren's on, and in fact, I want to turn it on again. Is there a reality? There we go. Let's turn them on, and you guys can see the red glow. All right. So, last time we left off, we caught ourselves a Barkrush, which is a brand new Pokemon that I've never seen before, and we made it to Anklet Town. And there's a bit of a story going on. Apparently, there was a girl that was kidnapped, and we have to go rescue her. So, oops, not, not on the game. Here we go. So, I did somewhat make up on my promise. Barkrush is stronger now. He's level 14, and he knows the move. Bubble Beam, which means his special attack is going to be a lot, power, a lot more powerful. Which, by the way, it already was. Bubble was incredibly powerful against a op like those opums, the little rat kind of creatures. It almost killed it right off. You know, you see that special attack? It's so dang high, along with his defense. I'm gonna. It's it's pretty much a great. He's a great addition to the team. I can't wait for him to evolve. Um, so we actually didn't explore Anklet Town, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of exploring and get some knowledge on some of this stuff, because we have no idea where she is, I have no idea where she is, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's terrible tragic what happened to that little girl, I hope she's okay. Okay, that still doesn't tell me where she possibly could have gone to. Yep, this here's my bone, is she a butte? Okay, not really helpful. Sniff. I, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. Sniff. Oh, okay, so this must be the girl's mother, and this must be her father, which means she's the daughter. Yes, it's our daughter who's missing. I was right. That means the do she's the daughter of a hiker. She's tough. I blame myself. I spend too much time over by that White House of mine. I wish I knew how I could help the investigation. Okay, so they're worried pretty sick about her, so we gotta go hurry up and find her pretty soon. But I still don't know where to look. I don't know where to go. I wish there was something I could do to help. Okay, then tell me! That poor girl, her family lives in the next door house, maybe they have information. And to think today would have been such a good day for Pokemon Trade. Pokemon Trade. Pokemon Center! Pokemon Center is where you always, always trade, and I already talked to the lady, so... Oh, you know what? Doors to the library are locked. Public buildings must be on lockdown. Really? Really? You would think that if it was locked... I mean, locked, locked, you know, there will be some more stuff. Let's see. You're a roughneck, you should know. Low key town. Our only real characteristics is our lighthouse, which always beats that. So the lighthouse was, has to be it, because there's no trading facility in this game, considering it's a mod of a Pokemon. Well, not really a mod, it's, a, it's its own game, but. You understand what I'm saying? It's not canon to the Pokemon series. So, okay, I talked to most of the houses, I talked to most of the people. These guys are just blocking my way to the next route because they don't want anyone leaving until the girl is safe. And I now figured out that it's the Pokemon Library. Uh, I didn't talk to you yet. It's the ghost that did it, the ghost that haunts the library. Makes me kind of want to go to the library. And then everyone appears, so the last place I have to look is the lighthouse itself. And is there any new Pokemon? <laughs> this girl is in danger, and I'm like, hey! Is there a new Pokemon here? Yes, it's our daughter who's missing. Do I have any information? Oh, she always loved going to the top of my lighthouse and looking out above the fog. I've locked it for now, but if you think it will help with the investigation, here's a spare key. Yes, good luck. Thank you very much. Alright, so let's go save the little girl and get out of this town. Click. Door's open. Uh oh. So I thought Lag was about to do something. Oh, look, we can break boxes with Rock Smash, too. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh, and move Pokemon. Suzumi, I have no idea what you are, but you feel I feel like you're an electric type. Nah, you might be an electric type, but you're... Nah, I don't know. Damn. That powerful vice script right there. You are an electric type! You know Thundershock! I still don't know why I'm trying to look for you. Look for electric types. 
Alright, we got ourselves an ether. We won't be able to get that great ball for a while. Ah, crap. Okay, so the Pokemon I've so far have seen in this lighthouse and outside is probably Zuzumi and, um, Squeaker. So, that's all the wild Pokemon I think you should know about in this area for now. But, we're not going to deal with them, or we'll hopefully not have to deal with them any longer. Because I have Super Repel. <laughs> and Bar Crush took some damage. Alright, so we're going to continue on and hopefully find this little girl. I swear, if she's just playing around and everyone's kind of worried sick about her, then that's going to be, that's, that's a problem. Her parents are probably going to kill her for that. Ah, crap, it's a hole. I think, yeah, I think I figured it out. Whenever I destroy a box up there, it destroys the boxes down here, allowing me to move on free. Well, it doesn't destroy the box, it covers up the holes with the uh, planks and everything. So that's how that works. That was probably really loud to you guys. Alright, so now what? Because I need to go up in order to in order to uh, do stuff. Oh, here we go. I need to go this way, and I can go over here. And go up to this ladder. Hey, that's not a person. That's a Pokemon. Either that or a doll. Uh, library key. Okay. What's this? It's a Pokemon doll. Maybe we'll lost that lost little girl. Can I pick it up? Nope. Oh, okay. So we made it to the top of the lighthouse, and it looks like that lost little girl is actually not here here, but she is, you know, somewhere within the vicinity. So all we need to do is just get out of here and go find her in the library. Oh, crap. What are you? You look cool. I kind of want to catch you. And add you to my team because you, just because you're cool looking. Wait, does a bubble beam hurt you? Focus energy. Are you kind of like a fighting type? I'm gonna catch you anyway. Let's see. I got. I'll catch you in a great ball. You probably are like an electric type, maybe a steel electric type. I mean, if I'm if I think about this correctly, you're a magna and magnemite, which is an electric steel type too. It's creative still. Oh, you're just playing steel. Okay. There are some fairy types here, so who knows? There might be a fairy type jam or lead four member. Someone of significance that I'm gonna have to make sure I have a fair I have I'm able to do this for. So okay, so sometimes it accidentally wipes hard drives with its magnetic hands. Um no, I haven't named any of my other guys, so why not? Keep it regular. Yay, level fifteen! All right, library key into the library. Now, most likely if she... well, hello. that's pretty. I really do like that. That's really, really cool. And who the, who the freak are you? Hello there. It's been quite a while since I've seen anyone in the library. Then again, it's been a while since this library has any books in circulation. Well, I'm gonna introduce myself. My name. That's creepy. That's real creepy. <laughs> that is actually really, really creepy. I... Stop that. Stop that. Okay. Well, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Marana. Mara. 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 Marana. Marana. There we go. I'm a mythology enthusiast. I have heard Anklet's library had the best books on mythology in the region, so I had to come check it out. Thought I certainly was surprised at how abandoned this place was. Why are you taking pauses whenever you speak like that? Why are you here anyway? You say you're here to rescue someone? Well, I did hear something coming from the basement earlier. I have no idea where the entrance is now. Maybe if that chandelier was brighter, you could find the entrance. God damn it! Why you always got? Why you guys gotta always make me do puzzles? Anyway, I've learned all I can from the books here, so I'll be on my way. It was nice meeting you, Steve. Did I ever give my name? Cause that's real creepy if I didn't give my name. When the relics of all wait, when the relics of four come together, it is summoned. People remember this, this is important. I feel like this is all oh god and lag just got really bad here. Other than that, or this is actually part of the game. Only it 
has the power to bring back those past, and only though through the Guardians can it be summoned. This is so much getting a little creepy! The power of it is so strong that not even the mortal coil of death can stop it. I think I don't even want to know what it is, even though I think it's the legendary Pokemon that's the idiot. Only the guardians of earth, water, and fire, and air may mend the bonds between reality. This is all very creepy, and I, uh, this is, uh, this is very unusual for a Pokemon game to actually make me creep, you could creep me out this much. It doesn't even, it's not even affected by death? What the hell? Okay, be right back because the, the stupid ghost type Pokemon here, which is called Caspook, put my Magna to sleep and basically almost killed it, so I'll be right back. Also, just to make sure that I don't die, he doesn't die on the way out. So, you know, I still don't want him to die, even though he probably could, and I'd just be out of here faster. I don't want any of my Pokemon to die, you know? Alright, and I'm back. So, just to make sure I didn't have to go through that again, I made sure to grab some Super Potions. And before I move on, once again, gonna change some things. First, Magnet's gotta go back to the first position so he can get trained. And second, um, I do want to change around his move set. Yeah, da -da, there we go. Matter of fact, gonna go up here instead of Ice Grip. Please stop with that. At this point now, this place is just creeping me out, and I don't want to hear any more from this library. Stop it! Alright, so what am I supposed to be doing here? Uh, I can't get to the statues, or at least not the front of the statues, so I'm just gonna go over here. Oh, okay. Even though they're a giant pain in the ass, those cast books are actually good for level grinding. And I can't go this way. Fantastic! So let's check around here to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. There are many old books on the decrepit library. Alright. The light seems to be shining in this area, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm not missing anything. And... Uh, yep. Okay. So, yeah, they're annoying as balls, but they are good for level grinding. So if I need to level grind, I'll probably will come back to the library once this whole thing is over. Okay, I just noticed something about my time. I'm actually way over the limit that I set for myself whenever I was recording. So what I'm actually going to do, because I don't want to finish this thing until I've gotten the little girl... I'm just going to split this episode into two, so what you're getting out of this recording is a two-episode piece. More books to read! Great!